The end of World War II saw the defeat of Nazi Germany, the death of Adolf Hitler in his bunker in Berlin in 1945. However, rumors and speculation surrounding the fate of high-ranking Nazi officials persisted. Some proponents of the Antarctic conspiracy theory argue that Hitler and other Nazi leaders escaped to the remote and inhospitable continent. Rumors circulated that the Germans not only established a secret base there, but also constructed a massive city within a network of ice caves, serving as a refuge after the war. Some believe that the Nazis' interest in exploring Antarctica was rooted in the twisted ideology that depicted the Aryan people as the superior race. The Nazis came to believe a lot of strange and horrific ideas as they built up their military. One of the strangest beliefs was called the World Ice Theory, which claimed that ice is the basic element in all cosmic events and therefore controlled the development of the universe. This led to the Nazis believing that Antarctica could be the homeland of the Aryan race. The Vril Society was an occult group in Germany at the time and influenced many members of the Nazi party. They believed that an ancient, advanced civilization once dominated the Earth then, following a devastating conflict with an alien race, retreated into the Earth's inner layers. Antarctica was thought to be the location of an entrance to the Hollow Earth or an underground realm where these advanced beings resided. According to this theory, the Nazis did find a hidden entrance near the South Pole, a mystical passage leading to the underworld where they made contact with these ancient aliens beneath the ice. In a region they named New Swabia, the Nazis established an underground military base, serving as a haven known as Base 211. Throughout World War II, German submarines routinely traversed the waters of Antarctica where they planned to establish a permanent settlement in Base 211. Among their many weapons and new technology, the Germans had prototypes for aircrafts that looked very similar to flying saucers. In 1943, the British executed Operation Taberin, which sent troops to Antarctica intended to destroy the German bases. However, the British were outnumbered and failed to evict the Germans from their deeply entrenched bases. Two German U-boats surrendered in Argentina months after the war had ended. Their reason for the delay was that they had come from patrolling in the Atlantic Ocean, but many believed they had instead been helping Nazi leaders escape to the secret bases in Antarctica. According to this belief, Hitler did not actually die in Berlin in 1945 and had instead faked his death using one of his many doubles that routinely stood in for him following a failed assassination attempt in 1944. Many Nazi leaders had escaped Germany and hid in secluded places all over the world for many years after the war ended. In Hitler's case, he was taken, along with other Nazi members, to Antarctica where they retreated into the tunnels and vanished into the underground realm where they encountered the leaders of an alien race who had been living there for years. In 1946, a year after World War II concluded, the US government initiated Operation High Jump, an extensive military expedition to Antarctica. It was led by Rear Admiral Richard E. Byrd, along with 25 aircraft, 7 helicopters, a submarine, an icebreaker, and personnel of 4,700. The mission was officially slated for 8 months, and the stated objectives were to explore resources like coal and possibly establish military bases in the extreme polar conditions. However, speculation arose about the true nature of Operation High Jump, suggesting that the actual mission was to retrieve the missing Nazi leaders from Antarctica. Operation High Jump encountered mysterious challenges, with reports of alarming messages being transmitted through the radio. There were also accounts of unidentified vessels surfacing, mysterious aircraft, and reports of sorcerer-like weapons inflicting severe damage. These encounters led to devastating losses for the American fleet. Very soon, all work was abruptly stopped, and the expedition quickly returned home. Some accounts suggest that Admiral Byrd and his team were fought off with flying saucers and had to make a deal with extraterrestrials, wherein the U.S. government negotiated a deal which consented to allowing the aliens to perform experiments on humans. The aftermath of the expedition was covered up by the U.S. government, with all related materials classified and no official explanation for the sudden end to the operation. In a confidential briefing to a presidential commission in 1947, Rear Admiral Byrd described attacks by mysterious flying sources emerging from the ground. Rumors circulated that Byrd had encountered forces from a Fourth Reich or New Swabia in Antarctica, and the flying sorcerers were remnants of secret Nazi technology. Despite this setback, the U.S. military returned in 1958 under Operation Deep Freeze and were finally able to seal up the Nazi bases by dropping nuclear warheads on them. The conspiracy theory of secret Nazi bases in Antarctica is quite far-fetched and entertaining. 
However, the truth is that in the late 1930s, the Nazis did show an interest in Antarctica and sent an expedition to survey and claim a part of it for Germany. However, the claim was not continued and they never returned. The first German Antarctic expedition took place from 1901 to 1903. They conducted research and exploration, leading to the discovery of new land. The expedition was, however, trapped in the ice for over a year. There were two more expeditions in 1911 and 1925, aimed at gaining an overall understanding of the region. The fourth German Antarctic expedition took place from 1938 to 1939. This was led by Captain Alfred Richer aboard the ship Schwabenland. The primary objectives of this expedition were scientific, involving aerial surveys. They had successfully mapped about 600,000 square kilometers, capturing over 16,000 images. These photographs were part of their efforts to continue studying and mapping the Antarctic landscape. The expedition was meant to claim an area where a whale station could be built. The upcoming war would make oil hard to come by, and they needed to find another source of fat to be used in butter, milk, detergents, and candles, among many other uses. The outbreak of the war prevented further planned expeditions and ended the possibility of building a base. There's no evidence of any further German activity in Antarctica during World War II. The Germans did experiment with unconventional aircraft designs, including disc-shaped prototypes. However, these experimental aircraft never reached operational status. Operation Tauberin was indeed a British expedition to Antarctica during World War II, but it was primarily focused on establishing and maintaining British bases in the region, and there is no evidence to support the claim that they were there to destroy German bases. The notion that Adolf Hitler did not die in the bunker in Berlin in 1945 and instead escaped to Antarctica is a conspiracy theory that has been debunked by conclusive DNA evidence. While some high-ranking Nazi officials managed to escape capture immediately after the war, the majority were eventually apprehended, and many of them faced trials at Nuremberg for war crimes. Operation High Jump was indeed a real military operation led by Admiral Richard Byrd, involving a large task force of over 4,700 personnel. The operation had a strong emphasis on scientific research, aimed at studying various aspects of the continent, including its geology, weather patterns, and wildlife. The operation involved extensive mapping and exploration of the coastline and interior. The data collected contributed to a much better understanding of the geography and topography of Antarctica. Operation Deep Freeze was a subsequent series of U.S. missions to Antarctica, focused on scientific research and logistical support for the establishment of research stations. There's no credible evidence to support the claim that they were sent there to destroy underground Nazi bases or that American forces were fought off by flying saucers. The official explanation for the early termination of Operation High Jump was primarily related to logistical and weather-related challenges rather than extraordinary events or encounters with aliens. The operation was initially planned for an eight-month duration, but the mission was officially concluded after only two months. The harsh Antarctic environment presented significant challenges for the operation. Cold temperatures, ice, and other extreme conditions made it difficult to maintain and operate equipment as well as carry out research. The climate is known for its severe and unpredictable weather patterns, and this led to many challenges regarding the safety and effectiveness of the mission. The cold and challenging terrain took a toll on the equipment used during the expedition, resulting in mechanical failures. It was due to these harsh conditions that the decision was made to conclude the mission much earlier than planned. The conspiracy theory of secret Nazi bases in Antarctica, claims of secret underground bases, mystical passages to the underworld, and flying saucer battles are products of imagination rather than historical fact. The truth reveals a much more grounded reality, 